Despite the governor's executive order, local mass uh, school mass mandates can stay in place as local authorities now consult with legal experts about all this. That's the case down in Williamson County. Remember just last week, parents voiced their concerns and frustrations after the school board ruled students in elementary schools would have to wear them. Well, News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs is live outside the school board office. Tonight's meeting much quieter than last week. Kelsey. Absolutely, Rory. As you can tell, just looking outside the parking lot this time last week, there were parents out here very emotional, some receiving threats from the videos that we saw. Different scene tonight and that all coming down after the governor and the executive order. So the difference between what you all did and what we did and what the governor is doing is there's no explanation, no exemption for a particular need. It's a simple, straightforward, pure opt out. Governor Bill Lee gave parents the options to opt in or out of their child wearing a mask at school. This partially changes the rules that Williamson County Schools voted on and agreed last week. That rule was for staff, students and visitors on the elementary school level to be required to wear masks until September 21st. Now parents can opt out and staff and visitors will still be required to wear masks on the elementary school level. Now the scene here was a lot different than last Tuesday when we saw hundreds of people show up, 30 speakers and emotional parents. Tonight was just a hand full of parents present for public comment where they also expressed concerns over the mask mandate and even the executive order. The opt out is really just a mandate ban by a different name because he's not letting school districts impose their will on the situation and try to defeat this virus. Both sides seem to demonize the other side but and they they focus on their differences but there are so many things that we have in common, and one of those most important reasons is that we love our children, we love our communities. Now, before the executive order here in Williamson County, the district tells us parents were using health or religious exemptions to get their child from wearing masks in school. The district telling us those total to 3,600. Now the district will have forms for parents to fill out if they choose to opt out of wearing masks for their students under the executive order. But for now, reporting live in Franklin, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.